But the, the reason that, um, that I called for the press conference is because I wanted to demonstrate the, the magnitude of the problem. What you see on the table only represents one-fourth of what we seized. We have approximately right about 25,000 containers that, that were seized in, in, in totality. And, and uh, this just represents one quarter, maybe less of a quarter of what we have seized. Uh, and there's a lot of other drugs, a lot of, a lot of medications. Uh, other than the male enhancement drugs, we have controlled substances, painkillers, diet pills, steroids, antibiotics, and cholesterol medication. You can also see that there's a large amount of cash at this end of the table. Uh, this came from one particular vendor only. That's, that's about uh, $30,000. Uh, there's a ledger. They kept, they kept very good records. And every time that they opened the, the flea market, they opened their booth, one guy was running three booths. They were averaging about $5,000 uh, a day. And they were, they were making quite a bit of money. Uh, we found out that a lot of these drugs, like we suspected initially, were coming in from Mexico. But we've also seen a lot of them uh, made in Australia and other foreign countries. And, and somehow, some way, we're trying to figure out how this happened. But the vendors were also getting them through the Internet. But we're talking about um, medicines, controlled substances that are regulated by federal and state law. We have uh, teamed up with uh, FDA and U.S. Customs. They're uh, very interested in, in this case. We don't expect federal prosecution. We, we believe we're, we're going to stick with state. But we're going to ask uh, the FDA to uh, do the testing for us. And I know that, that the U.S. Customs already has some open cases and some investigations regarding uh, the illegal sales of pharmaceuticals and flea markets and, 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 that, and that sort of thing.